The Xbox Series X has turned out to be a successful venture for Microsoft, and while the gaming giant hasn't been the most consistent in terms of its first-party output, there has never really been a shortage of third-party games to help bridge that gap. With this feature, we'll be running down 30 of the best Xbox Series X and S games, and discussing what exactly makes it all tick. Back for Blood Turtle Rock Studios' Back for Blood is a glorious tribute to Valve's Left 4 Dead series, and while it definitely has a few flaws, it doesn't detract from the fact that it's a really fun time to play with friends. There are plenty of enemy types, and the encounters do a good job of mixing things up on a consistent basis, which makes it a consistently enjoyable experience that's even better with friends. WRC 10 WRC 10 is a great game that knows its niche, and continues to work towards catering to that niche in new and interesting ways. The core gameplay remains an adrenaline-pumping affair as you drift your favorite rally cars through thick trails of dirt while overtaking your opponents. It also looks great with highly detailed car models and impressive particle effects populating every frame of the amazing racing game. The Ascent Set against the backdrop of a futuristic dystopia, The Ascent takes players on an unforgettable journey through the many districts and underbellies of the city of Velez. The twin-stick shooting is quality stuff, and the game nails the element of a compelling atmosphere with great visuals and a healthy use of environmental storytelling. Add to that support for co-op gameplay and plenty of build options, and The Ascent becomes a great game for fans of the cyberpunk genre. Subnautica Below Zero Subnautica was one of the very few games that managed to combine its amazing gameplay loop with a compelling story, and those merits have been expanded further upon in Subnautica Below Zero. Below Zero's Planet 4546B is filled to the brim with mysteries waiting to be uncovered, alongside unique wildlife that continues to be more threatening as you wander into its furthest corners. Below Zero is a worthy sequel in all ways, and fans of survival games should definitely give it a shot. F1 2023 F1 2023 is an excellent entry in the long-running racing series, and while it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, it continues to be one of the best games in its class. F1 2023 impresses with its highly detailed cars that have been faithfully recreated to look just like real life, and the core gameplay underpinning is as beautifully complex as ever. There is a certain learning curve to understanding the game's many intricacies, but once you get the hang of it, F1 23 can be a supremely addictive game. NHL 24 Developed by EA Sports, NHL 24 feels like a love letter to fans of ice hockey. The core gameplay revolves around controlling your team and scoring goals while performing all sorts of strategic maneuvers around the arena, and that gameplay screams quality stuff through and through. You can choose from a wide variety of game modes, and while there are a few issues like microtransactions in the game, digital ice hockey doesn't get much better than NHL 24. Far Cry 6 Far Cry 6 might not change the open world rulebook in any significant way, but it's still a great experience that fans of the genre shouldn't miss out on. The city of Yara is brimming with detail, and it's not just for show either. Far Cry 6 continues on the systemic open world designs of other open world games, so you can use the tools afforded to you and come up with all sorts of creative solutions to enemy encounters and much more. The story certainly leaves a lot to be desired, especially considering the star talent behind it all, but it's still a solid game that fans can enjoy for some time. FIFA 22 FIFA 22 continues to be the best game for soccer fans, and a lot of that credit goes to the solid gameplay loop underpinning every moment of the gameplay. There are plenty of different game modes to choose from, ranging from career to tournaments and ultimate team. With hundreds of licensed teams and players to choose from, fans have no shortage of things to do and matches to play for hundreds upon hundreds of hours. Robocop Rogue City Developer Taeyeon's Robocop Rogue City has just recently been released, and it has quickly gone on to become one of the best games of 2023. The shooting in Robocop isn't anything particularly special, but it manages to capture the essence of being the superhero in more ways than one. There are a few rough edges here and there, including but not limited to non-existent facial animations and a weak story, but Rogue City is a solid single-player shooter that manages to keep players interested until the credits roll. Lies of P Lies of P takes the familiar story of Pinocchio and completely flips it upside down by placing it all in a dark fantasy world brimming with all sorts of monsters and beasts. NeoWiz Games has done a fabulous job of creating a world that feels like the embodiment of your worst nightmares, with threats ranging from mechanical beasts to humans with suspicious smirks, and of course, the towering Victorian structures that house these threats in the first place. The gameplay takes heavy influence from Bloodborne, which makes the combat a careful dance of last-minute dodges and swift strikes. Between this and the wide array of customization options on offer, Lies of P is a compelling Souls-like that fans of the genre should definitely try out. The Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes 
Supermassive Games has established itself as one of the best developers in the narrative horror space, and the Dark Pictures Anthology might just be one of its best works yet. Players take control of a group of survivors, as they face all sorts of threats and horrors in an ancient place. Like every other game from the developer, House of Ashes features a flexible narrative that continues to twist and turn based on your choices, which not only adds player agency to the mix, but also makes it one of the most highly replayable games on the market. Need for Speed Unbound Need for Speed Unbound veers away from its traditional roots by opting for a different art style and remains all the better for it. Criterion has gone with a rather unconventional mix of semi-realistic visuals where anime-like elements have been mixed in together with a traditional world. Add to that some solid arcade racing and a bevy of customization options, and Unbound becomes one of the best entries in this long-running franchise. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy is all about working together as a team to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds, and the team has done a great job of crafting a gameplay loop that's simple yet satisfying through and through. The characters look faithful to their comic book counterparts, and the story hits all the right notes at the right time. Guardians of the Galaxy doesn't have anything particularly special going for it, but it's a solid game all around. Dead Island 2 After what seemed like an eternity of development hell, Dead Island 2 was finally released earlier this year. And to many a fan's surprise, the game was actually able to prove its worth as a successor to one of the most revered zombie slashers of all time. While the gameplay does the heavy lifting here, Dead Island 2's attention to detail is what makes it stand out against the crowd. Monster Hunter Rise Monster Hunter Rise was originally released for the Nintendo Switch, which is why it doesn't have the raw visual fidelity found in other Xbox Series X and S games. But that doesn't mean it's inferior to those games in any real sense. You see, the highlight of Monster Hunter World has always been its beasts and their creative designs, and all of that shines brightly in Monster Hunter Rise as well. In addition to this, the combat and traversal have also been expanded upon in new and interesting ways, which makes it all so much more addictive. Mortal Kombat 1 With Mortal Kombat 1 on current-gen consoles, Netherrealm has made sure to make it a memorable step in every regard. The story is pretty engaging, and new gameplay elements including but not limited to the cameo system do a great job of keeping things fresh for longtime fans. It's a feature-rich game with plenty of content that's sure to keep you glued to the edge of your screen at all times. Resident Evil Village Resident Evil Village feels like the celebration of the genre's decades-long history. There's a constant sense of dread pervading every step you take in this wonderfully realized world, but what makes this entry special is the way it effortlessly switches between different shades of horror, ranging from survival horror to action horror and much more. It looks great on Xbox Series X, and it also plays really well with solid shooting mechanics and thoughtful encounter designs. Psychonauts 2 Psychonauts 2 was one of the most anticipated sequels of recent memory, and developer Double Fine Studios really knocked it out of the park with the game. It really plays well, but fans of the series know that the appeal of the game lies in its wonderfully weird worlds that you get to explore. Each level is brimming with oodles of personality, and you'll find tons of interesting details peppered throughout the many worlds that you get to explore. And this attention to detail really makes you want to check out every nook and cranny of this dense world. Double Fine also does a good job of meshing that exploration with a story that feels more personal for series protagonist Raz, while also being appropriately high stakes. Hi-Fi Rush Tango Gameworks of Ghostwire Tokyo fame surprised fans with the excellent Hi-Fi Rush earlier this year, and it's easily one of the developer's best works to date. The rhythm-based hack-and-slash action remained satisfying right through to the end, and the visuals look like your favorite childhood cartoons. It's a really polished game that does justice to its suite of unique mechanics. If you haven't tried it out already, you should give Hi-Fi Rush a shot. Halo Infinite Halo Infinite takes the franchise in a new direction with a new open-world structure and a live-service multiplayer component. Master Chief's journey through Zeta Halo is a memorable one, with plenty of brutal boss encounters and large-scale firefights. And while the story might not be the best, it is compelling enough to make you want to keep playing through to the end. And then there's the multiplayer, which remains a solid experience through and through. Forza Motorsport 2023 Forza Motorsport 2023 is by all means a showcase of the power of the Xbox Series X and S. This simulation racer not only uses advanced processing power to create a realistic simulation model, but it also makes good use of the console's graphical grunt to render lifelike visuals. Forza Motorsport is brimming with cars to collect, tracks to race on, and game modes to try, and you could spend dozens upon dozens of hours making your way through the game and still have something new to do. Street Fighter 6 
Street Fighter VI builds upon what came before in some interesting ways with its new open world structure and remains all the better for it. Making your way through the world tour is an absolute blast, and you can also switch things up by hopping into online modes for some friendly duels. The core fighting is as fun as ever, and new elements like the drive system do a good job of refreshing the combat system in new and interesting ways. Street Fighter VI also looks surprisingly detailed, thanks to the game being built on Capcom's RE engine. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon From Software's Armored Core series made a grand comeback with Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, and it feels like the perfect modernization of this long-running franchise. There's a lot to love here, ranging from the excellent gameplay to the flexibility of building out your own ACs and the crisp visuals. And much like every other game from the developer, Armored Core 6 features some slick boss battles that'll force you to change your strategies on the fly. Gears 5 plus Hivebusters DLC Gears 5 is an excellent sequel that takes the solid gameplay foundations of prior entries and combines that with a compelling narrative surrounding Kate Diaz as she breaks away from her squadron to find her true nature. The franchise's solid shooting mechanics shine brightly in the campaign's well-designed encounters and memorable boss fights, and it all looks gorgeous thanks to superb lighting effects and highly detailed character models. Cyberpunk 2077 plus Phantom Liberty in many ways, Cyberpunk 2077 well and truly feels like an apt representation of a futuristic dystopia. The setting is a character in itself, one that has its fair share of merits and flaws. The corporate mega towers and luxury suites are contrasted well against the murky and underdeveloped outskirts. V's journey to become a legend of this setting is punctuated by memorable challenges, meaningful choices, and a gradual sense of progression as you slowly morph into a master cyber warrior who could take on anything and everything standing in his path. Alan Wake 2 Remedy Entertainment is a master of creating weirdly beautiful worlds, and Alan Wake 2 is solid proof of that statement. The familiar town of Bright Falls continues to twist and turn as Alan tries to devise his master plan to escape the Dark Place, and it all makes complete sense in the end. The dual protagonist narrative also does a good job of keeping things interesting as you piece together the puzzles and make sense of the overarching narrative. Sure, the combat has been pared down from the original, but that makes the survival horror element of it so much stronger. Ori and the Will of the Wisps Moon Studios' Ori and the Will of the Wisps is an excellent sequel that builds upon the solid foundations of the original in new and interesting ways. The fairy tale story at its core is simple yet memorable, and the world design continues to impress with carefully curated biomes that are both visually and functionally distinct from one another. There's also a very distinct sense of progression as you slowly grow more and more powerful with new powers and more health points, which is also the true mark of a great platformer Forza Horizon 5 Playground Games' Forza Horizon 5 is all about cruising through picturesque landscapes while seated in a luxury sports car, and having a great visual presentation is paramount to fulfilling that goal. The map of Mexico is a visual spectacle, with tons of detail peppered throughout its massive world and immaculately recreated cars, and the excellent progression systems make sure that you are always working towards a specific goal. Everything just comes together to create a soothing experience, and you could spend hours upon hours aimlessly wandering through this well-built virtual escapade. Elden Ring Elden Ring is supposed to be a grand journey that takes players through dense forests to towering castles and frigid settlements, and it's one that players will remember long after the credits roll. It's a vast setting that's brimming with brutal foes to fight, unique weapons to collect, and quests to complete. There are just so many iconic moments peppered throughout this adventure that it's almost impossible to see it all in a single playthrough. Elden Ring is a truly special game, and it's unmissable for fans of From Software releases. Starfield Starfield is Bethesda's first new IP in over 25 years, and it's a testament to the fact that these guys just know how to create fantastical worlds that are brimming with imagination and wonder. With over 100 planets available to explore, Starfield is as vast in scope as it is deep in terms of its mechanics and systems. There are plenty of well-written quests that'll keep you engaged for dozens of hours, and the new shipcrafting systems also help in making your journey through this world a more personalized one. In many ways, Starfield represents the best of Bethesda, and it was a win that Xbox desperately needed after so many failures. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request before we conclude, we upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.